my spookies. Welcome to the Strange Philosopher's Halloween special. I saved something really special for you guys today. Before I start on that though, I would like to point out that if you like my green wicked witch makeup, I do have a um, wicked witch green makeup tutorial in a previously posted mo movie. So, on to the main event. I have been waiting for this for a long time guys, and I think you're going to be excited for it. It is the Black Block Subscriptions Unboxing for the month of October. Now, for those of you who know me, I'm new to unboxing videos and new to YouTube just in general. And for those of you who don't, now you know. <laughs> Black Box Subscriptions. I've heard amazingly wonderful things. But the things I've heard were sponsored. So all of the people that did unboxing videos online that I found had these sent to them as a promotional thing. And I, I have nothing against that. I think that's wonderful. But I would like to see as a regular old Joe customer what you get in the box. Because I have an inkling suspicion that they got little extra goodies that us normies probably wouldn't. So, using a fake name, I ordered the Black Box subscriptions for you guys. So I'm going to show you what the month of October's Black Box subscriptions box has. And for those of you who are not familiar with the company, there's this wonderful company. I've heard amazing things. Uh, I think the woman who runs it, her name is Vic Secundus, but I could be wrong. Anyway, she's a wonderful woman. She has her own band name, Axis, and I think she used a Kickstarter to actually open this company. It's a, I think it's America's first goth, gothic subscription box. And I think it is geared more towards women, but it is the first and only box that I've ever gotten is customizable. And when I say customizable, it doesn't take away the surprise of this. It's when you sign up for it, they send you this wonderful little like survey and you have to fill it out and tell her all the things you like. Um, and she makes the box based to what you like. So I'm excited to see what the first box is. Um, so once again, here it is, black box subscriptions. I keep showing you my address. That's probably a bad idea. <laughs> Let me just open the box and we'll see what I got. Now this is for the month of October in year 2015. So since it's Halloween, today and Halloween month, I'm expecting this box to be a little bit better than the ones I've seen online because I, come on, it's Halloween and it's got kid stuff. You gotta put a little extra effort. If she didn't, that's okay. <laughs> okay, so we open it up and lo and behold, there's some bright orange tissue paper. Happy Halloween. -y. Because what's more Halloween than orange tissue paper? Okay. Now, one of the things I love and I've heard about this, she actually packages it with little story page stories. Like little story papers. And this month's story is The Sleeping and the Dead by Jeff Crook. I might actually end up reading these because that's just who I am. I'm an avid reader, huge book lover, huge bat fan, not Batman, bat fan, as in I like bats, and I also love, love, love bunnies. I don't, I don't wonder, I know that's not really all that gothy of me, but bunnies. Okay, so first of all, okay, so the first thing I found at the bottom of the box is this beautiful, um, Day of the Dead looking rose, and it's got a hair tie and a clippy, so you could hair tie or clippy it. I'm gonna clippy it. Oh. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm going to wear this to my Halloween party tonight. Oh, so far, Vix, I love what you've done. <laughs> I've only opened one thing, but I'm happy. Okay. Ooh, the next thing is this cute little baggie with a skull on it. And it's a little paper envelope, so let's see what's inside of it. Ooh. Now, I told her specifically that I am a candle fiend. I love candles. These are the Vampire Collection Dracula Scented Candles. How cute is that? Oh my god, these are perfect. Thank you, Vix. Oh my god. Okay, and then we have another little goofy skull and bones bag. I wonder what's in here. Okay. Oh, I dropped something. Oh my gosh, it's jewelry. I dropped jewelry. Okay, so I heard about this. She actually makes her own jewelry. And then sends it to you, and it's one of a kind. And oh my gosh, this is so cute! I don't know if I could, if I can show it to you in the video, but it's a little deer, and it's got a little skull tattoo on its butt. 
so cute. I'm wearing those right now. I don't even care if it's not part of my Halloween costume, and I don't care if I get them green. I'm wearing them. These are so cute. Thank you, Vix. Oh, so far I'm very pleased. I think I'm going to keep this subscription. Oh, they're so cute and dangly. And she also sent me this really pretty corded um, one with a little heart pendant at the bottom. You can see it. Um, the plastic pendant is cheap little plastic, so I'm not as enthused about that, but the cord is really pretty, so. Let's put that on and see what that one hangs like, because I prefer chokers, honestly. I'm not a big, it either has to be an obnoxiously long necklace or it has to be a choker, otherwise I don't really like it. Yeah, see something like this I'm not as fond of, but you know what? I have a friend who probably love it, so it's fine. What else do I got in here? A third mystery bag. This one's got little flowers and things on it. It says, Happy Haunting from Strange Omens. I wonder if that's like a company. Just bear with me while I untwist tie the thing. Strange Omens. Ooh. I got a cute little eyeball pen. Which I could have got at Walmart for a dime, but it's cute, so I'll give it give them points for cute and spooky. And then I got what your senses have been dreaming of: Monster Mash Dream Tree Soap Works Soap. I have a cold. I don't know if I'm going to be able to smell this, but I'm gonna try. Mmm, that smells good. I mean, it's a tiny little piece of soap, but mmm, that smells kind of earthy and flowery and. Mmm, that's not bad. It's not bad. It's a little musky though. Um, different peoples with different skin have to take different perfumes differently. And I don't wear musks very well. And I don't wear fruity very well. Pretty much if it's not a flowery scent, I can't wear it. But, oh well, I'm sure I know somebody who would love it. So... This one's cute. It's a little wrapped up piece of paper that says Thanksgiving on it with little bat tape. I should probably do that because I told her I like bats. It's like a little washi tape. So I'm trying to open it, but the tape is kind of not letting me. Hold on. Dark Desires Black Box Subscription Black Nail Polish. Now, I've heard she sends out black nail polish in every box, but every video I saw, she had a different brand. So, I'm going to take the sticker out and see what brand it is. She Makeup. I don't, I'm not familiar with that brand. I'm not familiar with that brand at all. I purposely did not paint my nails because I wanted to try out the nail polish she sent because I use... Um, what's it called? Hot Topics Black Heart Beauty nail polish, and they have black. Well, it went on pretty nice. Um, very liquidy, which is good. It's not goopy. So I like it. Good stuff. It does smell really, really strong, even for nail polish, but oh well. And at the bottom, we've got some cards here. Um... One is from Sylvia Pagina, Art and Alchemy. I don't know who that is. Um, follow us on Facebook for special offers, discounts, and giveaways. So, she must be some sort of store. Um, oh, I didn't even see it until it fell out. I got little stickers. It's cute. And then we got some more for different books, I think. These are books. I'm gonna hold them up so you can see them. Little inserts for books. And I think that's all that I've got in here. Yeah, it looks like it. So, I don't know if I'd say that, I don't wanna be a jerk when I say this, but I don't wanna say that I think it was worth $20. Um, it seems a little high, considering that I got black nail polish Two tea lights, which are kind of small. A tiny little sample size soap. 
tiny stickers I could have gotten from the dollar store. But, you know, I think it makes up with it for the jewelry and the hair bow because, well, jewelry, it's handmade jewelry, so that's like really special and it's probably one of a kind. So, I feel like that makes up for it because you could spend $20 on just, oh, my makeup smeared. You could spend $20 on just homemade um, earrings. So, I guess that kind of makes up for it. And I'm really excited to, maybe I should, maybe I should smell them in the video and let you know if they smell good. The candles. So I love candles. She got that one right. Okay, it says it smells like Dracula. But with my stuffed up nose, it smells like dragon's blood incense. It smells really good. I like it. Um, I think I'm going to continue the subscription just because I like the stuff that I got. But I may down the line um, have to choose between Spooky Box and Black Box because that's a lot of money to spend on subscription services in one month is to have two. Because Black Box is $20 a month and then uh, Spooky Box is £35, which is equivalent to like way more than that. I don't, I don't know the exact pound to dollar ratio, but it's more than that. And I just feel like Spooky Box, even though it costs a lot more, you get a lot more in it. And it's like really good stuff too, you know? It's really good stuff. Okay, well, thank you for- these stickers are cute. Thank you for watching the Strange Philosopher's newest video, the Black Box Subscriptions Unboxing. Here's the logo again if you don't, didn't see it before. And um, I like this subscription service. I would say you should try it and see if it's for you. I think the best part is that you can actually, you know, have her set it up the way you want it to be. Like, you tell her what you like, and then she sends you stuff based on that. So that is very, very cool. Very cool. And I also really like the black nail polish she sent because it actually covered in one coat. Which I don't think... I don't think the Black Heart Beauty from Hot Topic one does that. I think I have to put two coats on. So I'm probably going to wear this tonight for my costume. But I loved all the stuff in this box, and I say, yeah, it's a good, good bargain. Um, I think you should check them out. Definitely worth it. Even if you only try it for once for $20. Um, I thought if I liked it for $20, I would sign up and get the, the bigger one for $50. But that's a lot of money for a box. You know, college student on a budget does a lot of money. And as you know, I do goth on a budget videos because I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> but I think it's definitely worth trying out. And I've seen that the $50 box it actually has a lot more cool stuff in it. Like, better stuff. and Because it's bigger, it costs more. And the box actually comes to you in the mail shaped like a coffin. And I think that is the coolest feature. And I wish the small one did too because... Could you imagine being the mailman and just be like, oh my gosh, I have to drop off this coffin box to that weird goth chick's house again. Oh my gosh. Like, I just think it'd be funny. <laughs> um, but thank you, Vix, and I would love to try your $50 box, maybe when I start working <laughs> again. And thank you so much for your time, my loyal, loyal viewers. Um, this box is really good and really interesting, and I hope you have a good Halloween. Um... I know I'm planning on to. I'm going to go have a wonderful Halloween party with all of my roommates and a lot of my college mates from friends and school and all that stuff. So if you're coming to the party, and I know you personally, and you're there, awesome. But don't know you personally, and you're just a loyal, loyal viewer or fan, thank you so much for watching, and you'll hear from me again soon. And excuse my cold. <laughs> thank you, and have a good Halloween, guys.